Vancouver is a major city in Western Canada, located in the lower mainland region of British Columbia. As the most populous city in the province, the 2021 Canadian Census recorded 662,248 people in the city, up from 631,486 in 2016. The Greater Vancouver Area had a population of 2.6 million in 2021, making it the third largest metropolitan area in Canada. Greater Vancouver, along with the Fraser Valley, comprises the Lower Mainland with a regional population of over 3 million. Vancouver has the highest population density in Canada, with over 5,700 people per square kilometer, sixth and fourth highest in North America, after New York City, San Francisco, and Mexico City. The Vancouver Art Gallery is housed downtown in the neoclassical former courthouse built in 1906. The courthouse building was designed by Francis Rattenborough, who also designed the British Columbia Parliament buildings and the Empress Hotel in Victoria, and the lavishly decorated Second Hotel Vancouver. 109. The 556-room Hotel Vancouver, opened in 1939 and the third by that name, is across the street with its copper roof. The Gothic-style Christ Church Cathedral, across from the hotel, opened in 1894 and was declared a heritage building in 1976. There are several modern buildings in the downtown area, including the Harbor Center, the Vancouver Law Courts and surrounding plaza known as Robson Square, designed by Arthur Erickson, and the Vancouver Library Square, designed by Moshe Safdie and DA Architects, reminiscent of the Colosseum in Rome, and the recently completed Woodward's Building Redevelopment, designed by Henriquez Partners Architects. With its location on the Pacific Rim and at the western terminus of Canada's transcontinental highway and rail routes, Vancouver is one of the nation's largest industrial centers. Port Metro Vancouver, Canada's largest and most diversified port, is more than $172 billion in trade with over 160 different trading economies annually. Port activities generate $9.7 billion in gross domestic product and $20.3 billion in economic output. Vancouver is also the headquarters of forest product and mining companies. In recent years, Vancouver has become a center for software development, biotechnology, aerospace, video game development, animation studios and television production and film industry. Prominent theater companies in Vancouver include the Arts Club Theater Company on Granville Island and Bard on the Beach. Smaller companies include Touchstone Theater and Studio 58, The Cult, the Firehall Arts Center, United Players, Pacific and Metro Theaters, all run continuous theater seasons. Theater Under the Stars produces shows in the summer at Malkin Bowl in Stanley Park. Annual festivals that are held in Vancouver include the PUSH International Performing Arts Festival in January and the Vancouver Fringe Festival in September. Libraries in Vancouver include the Vancouver Public Library with its main branch at Library Square, designed by Moshe Safdie. The central branch contains 1.5 million volumes. Altogether there are 22 branches containing 2.25 million volumes. The Vancouver Tool Library is Canada's original tool lending library. The Vancouver Art Gallery has a permanent collection of nearly 10,000 items and is the home of a significant number of works by Emily Carr. However, little or none of the permanent collection is ever on view. Downtown is also home to the Contemporary Art Gallery, Vancouver, which showcases temporary exhibitions by up-and-coming Vancouver artists. The Morris and Helen Belkin Art Gallery with a small collection of contemporary works is part of the University of British Columbia. The Vancouver School of Conceptual Photography, often referred to as photoconceptualism, is a term applied to a grouping of artists from Vancouver who achieved international recognition starting in the 1980s. No formal school exists and the grouping remains both informal and often controversial even among the artists themselves, who often resist the term. Artists associated with the term include Jeff Wall, Ian Wallace, Ken Lum, Roy Arden, Stan Douglas and Rodney Graham. Thank you for staying with us for too long. 
See you next time with some interesting travel stories.